Hi everyone, back with another review on the EPZ Q1 Pro earbuds. I was sent these by EPZ and I genuinely can't believe how nice these are for less than $30. They also make these other clear silicon tip that you can put on the earbuds. They sent me over three different sizes, which I appreciate. I think these look better on the earbuds. They're a bit stickier in texture, meaning that I think they will stay in your ear a little bit better and that are a little less um, noticeable when they are in your ear. But here's an unboxing. We'll slide off the plastic. You can see the frequency response graph there on the back. I really like this packaging and the colors. It just pops really well on the black case. And everything about this, like, for $30, would you imagine you get all of this for $30? These headphones look so good. The build quality is amazing. They fit in your ear so well. Look at this unique cord they come with. I can't believe how much cheaper corded earbuds are than Bluetooth, Bluetooth earbuds. You can get some amazing sounding IEMs these days for less than $50. It just blows my mind. I do appreciate that they give you this little soft carrying case what? to put your this. earbuds in. And they sent me a quality control pamphlet. And then here's the instructions on how to wrap them around your ear. They did fit pretty well on me first try. Inside the soft carrying case, you get silicon tips that come with the earbuds. I actually like those matte gray ones better in my ear because they slide in and out a little bit better than the clear earbud tips. But if you're a musician, I think those clear ones would be really nice. They'd stay in your ear great because of the texture. It's a little bit stickier, as I said before. I am colorblind personally, and I really like this blue. Blue is a color that I can see. I'm red-green colorblind, so I do love blue and black together. It just looks so nice on these earbuds, and the build quality is very impressive. The earbud tips slide easily on and off, and the end of the IEM is actually bigger than I've seen on a lot of other IEMs, so I appreciate that there's a bigger opening for sound to come out. I think that makes sound sense in regards of physics. I really do think these sound great. I had them plugged into my desktop um, DAC, which has uh, a gain and a bass boost. I think these sound great without a gain or a bass boost. They have plenty of bass. It's not too troubly for me. Here's how they look on me, wrapped around my ear. They're very comfortable once you get a good um, fit for the silicon tip. I actually ended up putting on the small silicon tip. Again, here's my Fio K3 DAC. I would really recommend that. I bought that for my friend. Um, I think it's a great little DAC, but the cord does come in and out of the earbud, if you're wondering. And then there is a hole on the top of the IEM. I think it's for air to allow for the diaphragm to breathe, the driver, I should say, to breathe within the earbud housing. But you can slide that back in. And voila, you have your earbuds. These really are comfortable. I think they did a good job um, doing an ear mold on these IEMs. So for $30, essentially, you get the EPZ earbuds, this cool braided cord, and three different sizes of silicon tips. Those clear silicon tips do not come with the earbuds themselves. I should be clear, but you can buy those on AliExpress. There's a sale coming up for $11.11 and also a Black Friday sale. These have a 4.8 sound review on AliExpress. People are saying good things about them. I agree, they sound great. Thanks for watching and please give a like if you like this audio content.